Hey you guys, what's up? It's Rocket 54 here and welcome to a brand new Blu-ray hunting video. Today I'm going to be going into the mall, which is just right there, and I'm going to be going to Sunrise Records, which um, is basically the store that's taking over HMV, because HMV closed down, unfortunately. I got a pretty good haul last time I went. Um, but yeah, there was like one thing that I regretted not picking up, but anyway, so uh, Nathan told me that apparently he got Popstar and Ted 2 from Sunrise Records um, somewhere else for $5 each. So hopefully they'll have as good deals in, at this one as they, did at the, as, as, as they did at the one Nathan went to. So I'm gonna head into the mall and I'll see you guys in Sunrise Records. Into Sunrise Records we go. Sean C. Phillips impression. All right, so they have like some 7.99 Blu-rays here. I like some really good ones, like the, the original Batman, which I do really want to see this. I still haven't seen it. I've only seen like the new stuff and they do have Step Brothers here, which I'm gonna get this, because this is one of the things I was looking for. And I might get The Hangover, because it's one of my favorite comedies, even though I have it on DVD already. Um, yeah, they have like quite a few things here. Um, I'm just gonna take a look around, see what else I got. All right, you guys, I am out of Sunrise Records. I ended up getting four things. Uh, but to be, in all honesty, it was quite disappointing, because like, they had like an awesome selection, like when it came to quite a few things. But, like, a lot of the things I was looking for, they just didn't have. Like, I was trying to find the movie Clerks. They didn't have it. They had Mall Rats, but they didn't have Clerks. They also didn't have The Sixth Sense, but they had After Earth in there, um, which I almost wanted to get because it's M. Night Shyamalan, even though I haven't seen it. They also had Last Airbender in there, but... Like, a lot of the good stuff is quite expensive. Like, almost everything is, like, 13 bucks or 15 bucks. Like, and even stuff I really wanted, like... Uh, like Keanu, which was a movie I saw and I loved it, and Hacksaw Ridge, which was another movie that I saw and I loved it. Like, unfortunately, for some reason, like, unfortunately, they were 15 bucks each, and I'm like, I love these movies, but I'm not sure if I would pay that much for them. And it's like, so it was a bit disappointing, but I did end up getting, like, four $8 Blu-rays, so I'm pretty happy about that. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna, my mom's in the shoe store, so I'm just gonna, like, um, I'm just gonna wait for her and then we're probably gonna eat lunch, maybe look at Toys R Us and then we're just gonna go. All right, you guys, we are heading back home from the mall. Uh, I had a pretty fun time. I got four $8 Blu-rays. Um, my mom got a new pair of shoes and we got some uh, really good popcorn that's in the back there. Um, from like a really good popcorn place. We got like a sweet Thai chili flavor and mom, what was the other flavor? Uh, uh, cheese, cheese, please. Oh yeah, it was like uh, this this uh, brand called like Say Cheese Cheese. It's like a cheesy popcorn. Yeah, it was um, the popcorn they make there is really good. But uh, <laughs> I'm gonna get into my pickups. As I said, Sunrise Records was disappointing because, like as I said, they had a great selection, but everything was way too expensive. Like almost everything in there, like when it came to movies, was like 13 bucks or 15 bucks. And like as I said, like like ones I really wanted, like Hacksaw Ridge and Keanu were 15 bucks. And I was like, I love Keanu, but I don't know if I wanna spend 15 bucks on it. So they had like a lot of a great selection, but I it was just too expensive. Like everything was either like 13 bucks or 15 bucks or higher, which really sucked. But I did end up finding some $8 movies uh, for, so I'm gonna show you guys what I picked up. Um, the first one I got, which was actually the last one I picked up, like before heading to the cash is Batman, the original 1989 one. Um, I've not seen this. Uh, my mom recommends it. She, um, she thinks Michael Keaton's the best Batman. Um, I hope I'll think the same way. Um, yeah, the only Batman movie I've actually like, the only Batman movies I've actually seen is The Dark Knight and Batman v Superman. But uh, yeah, I've, I've been wanting to check this out for a while and I finally found it on Blu-ray for eight bucks, so it's not bad. I also didn't know that Tim Burton directed this until just recently. <laughs> Next Blu-ray I got is um, The Hangover, uh, again for eight bucks. I do already have this on DVD, but it's one of my favorite. Uh, it's one of my favorite comedies, um, and also it has the unrated edition on here, which is cool. There's like a lot of um, uh, added special features on here because the DVD has like no special features at all. Um, but yeah, so, um, uh, yeah, really excited to see this one again. Got that one for eight bucks. And then the next one I got is, I have this on DVD as well, um, and I was like, hmm, 
I was like, hmm, for eight bucks, that's, I was like, that's not bad. And my mom's like, this is worth getting. So I'm like, yeah, I was like, I think I'll get this. And that is Stand By Me. Uh, this is one of the, like, this is one of the greatest coming of age movies of all time. I first watched this when I was eight and I loved it. Like, and as I got, and as I got older, I started to like cry when I would watch it. Yeah, it, it's just a movie that's like so beautiful and so well written. Um, Rob Reiner is such a good director. I can't, I really want to see Misery, which is another Stephen King, um, ad adapted film he directed. And, um, yeah, I read part of the book of, um, uh, Misery in School. I did read The Body, which is the book this movie's based on before, but like, uh, qu like quite a while ago, but, uh, yeah, this is a really great movie. I probably won't watch it anytime soon because it's, you know, it is, it is a serious movie and it's not one I need to just like watch right away, but it is a, such an amazing movie. And then the last one I got, which I could have got this for seven bucks on Amazon, but an extra dollar is not going to make that much of a difference. Um, this is the first thing I picked up when I got in there and that is Step Brothers. Uh, I believe the last time I saw this was when I was in, um, was when I was at my grandma's house. I may have watched it like one other time after that, but uh, yeah, I, I started watching it like on Netflix. And uh, I was like, hmm, this one's like, okay, but I'm not sure. Um, I was like, this one's okay, but I'm, I was like, I'm not too sure how much I like it. But uh, yeah, I decided to pick it up for eight bucks on Blu-ray. And there's a lot of movies that I forget Adam McKay has directed, and this is one of them. And, uh, yeah, so th there's some really, really funny parts of this. Um, there's quite a few special features, and they have uh, both the theatrical and unrated editions on here. And it's a two-disc set, so I'm like, for eight bucks, this is um, a pretty good deal. These are the four movies I got today. Batman, The Hangover, Stand By Me, and Step Brothers. Um, that's going to be the end of this Blu-ray hunting video. Uh, subscribe for more content. Please leave a like on this video if you enjoyed. It really means a lot to me. Let me know what you guys thought of my pickups in the comments. Um, and uh, yeah, remember you guys, whenever getting disappointed at movie selling stores, but getting good ones in the process, say no to drugs.